Hey gang, I'm making it easy on myself today. Hello Winnie. I'd like to put a different finger up, but this is a G-rated channel. Hello Legacy. And hello Grasshopper. What am I going to do today? Well, I've got these two tires that will not magically appear on those rims. But, I'm still going to take the cheap way out. <laughs> or, excuse me, the easy way out. And it's only 20 bucks. I'm going to take them to my local uh, industrial alignment shop, Greens Fork, and have Chad switch these over for me. This makes it a little easier on myself. It's 10 bucks a piece, and they'll dispose of these tires. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But,. I'm gonna do it with uh, oh, a little bit of style, just a little bit, not a lot. Oh, yeah, you guys are looking at the ground. You're looking at the ground on purpose. What's this? Yep. It's such a beautiful day. I'm just going to take the gold wing to run my errands today. I've got three batteries in there to exchange it. We're rolling. And then uh, I've got a couple more stops to make. Got to stop by the post office and ship something off. Um, up to Canada today. And I do have to go back this week to uh, ship something off to one of my friends and subscribers. We got those. Now the hard part, jack up the grasshopper and get those wheels off, get them loaded up, and head on over to Greens Fork. So when I pull up to Greens Fork, I'll pop the camera on real quick. Uh, they're pretty good guys up there. Just good old ordinary homeboys. And they will take care of me. So that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. All right, get it off of there. They are uh, way back in there. The lug nuts are. I'll show you here. Get you in a spot where you can kind of see. Get my knee out of the way. Ready? Noisy. I'll tell you what. All you Milwaukee guys, I mean, they're great. But now that Sears is all whopper jawed and screwed up you can pick up these half inch impacts for next to nothing and you can also pick up these batteries for next to nothing works with all my c3 stuff okay get it off there and as you can see it works just fine it does what I need it to do. No, we're not doing NASCAR. We're just taking a wheel off. And these things are flotation tires and they don't get much air. They only get six PSI of air. They're 21 by 11 by eight. It says right here, 15 PSI max to seat the beads. And then six PSI max operating pressure. So we'll get the other one off, toss them in the trailer, and then head out. Well, wheels are off. They are off. We have more grass to clean out. It was hiding behind the tires, wheels and tires. They, all the newer ones are four lug, I think, aren't they? Anyway, we still have to clean the engine. Uh, we still have a boatload of grass down there. It's just amazing how much grass this thing picked up. But, let's go out here and see. Lid's closed, right? There we go. Four tires.
Run down the road and got a flat tire. Called the service station and the guy come out. Said, what happened? You get a flat tire? I said, nope. I'm driving along and mo 3 just swelled right up on me. Good old Bill Engel. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys at uh, Greens Fork. Alright gang, we made it to Greens Fork. The uh, gent in the red shirt there is getting ready to get on him. Now I'm headed to Rural King to pick up some batteries. Three of them. Hey gang, I so totally just spaced it and forgot to turn the camera back on. Let me set you down right here. Set some other stuff down behind you. You'll see these new skins. Of course it's locked. Whoa, it's stuck. There we go. That's what I love about this trailer. Got three batteries, two gallons of oil, my tobacco, all kinds of other stuff, and still plenty of room. And the holding capacity of this thing is 600 pounds. So, well, that's going to wrap it up. Um, sorry that I forgot to turn the camera back on when I got to Rural King and back to Greens Fork. But they did a good job. It was just 20 bucks. $20.64. I'd pay tax. So uh, now I'm headed out to my buddy Biggie Rats. Uh, he's got some scrap out there that one of my neighbors is going to pick up. So I'm just go, going to go on a joy ride. And he's going to hook onto his trailer. And. Uh, He's, he's actually waiting on me. <laughs> he's going to hook onto his trailer and uh, go out and get that scrap. So I better get off here and get to moseying. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me. Also, for watching the unboxing video. That was pretty epic from Mr. Mule. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Hit that subscribe button, please. All right, let's do a cold start, get this thing outside. I do need to remember to come back in and try to move these levers back. Mama Sue's kind of short and squatty, and she has a hard time reaching the levers. So, uh, let's go. A little bit of throttle. We can take the brake off because we're sitting down. Key. Choke. Make sure our brake light still works here. Okay, good. Let's go. as quick as I can um, I was doing all that with one hand getting it out there the tires just fit I mean there's about a 30 thousandths gap there uh, but they've got six pounds pressure in them they're nice flotation tires you can see I can stand on them and collapse them that's what they're designed for so they have really good traction but I'll tell you this thing's about the size of a Japanese K car. It's just huge. You compare it to uh, about one and a half the length of either one of those two or the Legacy. But now it's time to get the rest of the grass out of there. And to also spray the engine down. So we'll grab our thermometer and make sure that we're not too hot to spray the mineral spirits. We do want to burn the thing down to the ground. 
right so just to recap you guys already saw the uh, all the work on the deck um, I went ahead and had the tires mounted I didn't mount them myself and I already lost the valve cap that's all right if I don't see it on the floor on my way in if you guys see it let me know got it all right I'm gonna quit babbling I'm gonna get things set up and get ready to get all the grass out of this grasshopper all right as the air compressor catches up we've got nine tenths of the grass all blown out of everything now oh, i see another pile right there beside the battery i'll get that um and we're getting ready to spray her down plenty cool enough now it's been sitting for about half an hour and after we spray it down with mineral spirits we'll let the mineral spirits do their thing for a little bit and then we will blow it off again like i said after the air compressor recovers from its hard use of getting rid of all the grass uh, I, I didn't want to wash it mainly because that water will sit in areas that are already starting to rust a little bit and I didn't want to aggravate the uh, aggravate that rust any so looks like it'd be easy enough to just move that battery out of the way and get the rest of that grass right there out of there but we'll do that after the air compressor shuts off I'll turn the camera back on when I start spraying the motor down and it's as easy as one, two, three, spoiler well, goes the air conditioner again. Or the <laughs> air compressor. Uh just spray things down. Not worried about electrical interference at all here. Should not be any. And mineral spirits evaporate pretty well. As long as I come in. Um, as long as I come in and get it blown off before it all evaporates, uh, my efforts will not be futile. Stuff's already just sloughing off of it as I spray, so. I'm not worried about the belts either, or the rubber. It won't be on there long enough to do any damage. Yeah. I plasti welded that tank three years ago. Mama Sue stabbed it with something. Let's see, where's that spot? Right down here on that corner of that tank. She, she stabbed it with a fence. And, uh, Just plastic welded it. It's been holding great. All right, that's good enough. Get it another quick. Once over wet, and then we'll blow it off. And I will turn the camera back on after we've got it all blown off. Hang on. All right, air compressor finally shut off. We've got everything cleaned up and blown off. Not perfect. Not intended to be perfect. I want to make sure I got the hydros nice and clean so that they were cooling properly and make sure that the engine was nice and clean so it was cooling properly. So is everything off of it? No, but enough is off of it that uh, should give Mama Sue pretty good run for her money. Now, <laughs> her money, I need to go figure up all the parts. I need to date the... Uh, hydro filter I didn't show you me changing that out and swapping the fluid out but pretty standard just flush the system it's like flushing a radiator only you're fresh and flushing hydraulics this one flushes itself I have a different finger for that one haha <laughs> alright guys uh, thus ends the grasshopper so, what are we going to work on next? Hmm. I need to go get the gaskets for that.
You want to throw some parts on the B12? And then yank some parts off? Let me think. Yeah, I think at the very least we can go ahead and throw uh, some decent back tires on, get the side covers on, bolt the seat pan down, just get a look of what it's going to look like when it's all together. Sound alright to you guys? Sounds okay to me. We'll drag it out here just a little bit, but before we do that, um, I'm going to grab the owner engine over there and set it on the scale on camera. Then I'm going to grab a couple of Sears, nice Sears tires, matter of fact. These two Sears tires on top. I'm going to grab these two. And they are uh, 23, 9 and a half, 12s. I don't know how well you can see that. 23, 9 and a half, 12s there. Um, but the tires and wheels and engine are possibly go going to your friend of mine, Mike, the tractor guy. So we'll see about that. But anyway, I'll even leave the pulleys on. It's probably the pulleys he needs. But we do have to drain all the oil and everything out of it. So it'll be just a hair lighter than what it's actually going to weigh right now. But we'll get it weighed. But we'll do that on the next video where we're working on the B12. All right, gang. We'll see you later. I'm out of here.